introducing Project Mike. A rather unloved Rover 45 1.8 picked up from Solihull last night. Destined for the scrapyard. The car is somewhat unloved looking and very, very dirty. Flat paint all over. Absolutely filthy wheels. Grotty engine bay. Not that that matters a massive amount. Over 45 impression and clearly not making a very good impression at the moment. So it is going to be my job to clean this lot up, make it look lovely and desirable and then put it up for sale. Well I'm having my first drive of uh, Project Mike and it drives okay but all this dirt is giving me the shivers. And all the dirt on the outside and the mucky wheels, it's just... I, I can't drive a car that looks this bad. It's quite a smooth drive actually, it should be quite a nice car once uh, a few bits have been sorted out on it. The only reason I'm driving it at all at the moment is because I'm just off out to do a little rescue. And I thought it would make a perfect excuse to take this out for a little test drive. There he is man who's forgotten how to read his petrol gauge. Yes! This car smells of horses. I've never sniffed a horse but I've been close to them and I know that kind of that kind of uh, uh, grass-fed pooey smell that they have. It's not entirely unpleasant though. Feels quite nippy. Engine's nice and smooth actually. I actually really like the 1.8K series. It's really quite punchy. Kind of reminds me of the M series or the T series actually. Project Mike. Hopefully you'll find yourself welcome in the yard next to your new friend Morris. Maybe you can have some Rover adventures with Morris. Anyway, look, the return of Morris. Morris has come home. I must say, it is an absolute pleasure to be driving Morris again. Although that fact is completely irrelevant to this particular video. Trip reset. We are now going to skip back to the evening before, where my friend and I took a leisurely trip to a place called Solihull, where we collected this car, and also visited Longbridge, collected some wheels, it's still full of NGs. Well, park on there. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Nigel, back in the place he was born, proudly on display for everybody to see. Lovely. Hello. I'm driving on the M42 on the way back from Solihull, where a friend and I have gone to pick up a new project. The project is called Mike. Project Mike. What a wonderful way to spend the evening at half past ten. Look at the sky, it's still light. And passing me here is my friend Turb in the Rover 45 1.8. He seems to be enjoying its performance quite a lot. Should I tell you about Project Mike on this little Rover convoy? Well, the answer is I don't know anything about it. So, here I am, driving along the M6 at about 500 miles per hour, which is quite impossible because... Nearly 11 o'clock at night and stuck in a traffic jam on the M6. Who'd have thought that would be possible? Good, back to a proper speed again. Back to driving at about 500 miles per hour again. Yes, the Rover 25 really is good at this kind of speed. Very relaxing. Such a moody looking sky. Looks like it's going to shout at me. The journey is much more tiring when there's no motorway street lights. And finally, we have some, although they are rather dim. And in this uh, rather wonderful journey, 
I have been thinking about a couple of things. Like, does anybody else like to have the heating on and the window open at the same time? So you have the mixture of cold and hot. So you can just drive along going, Ooh, 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 ooh. It's great. On this rather long journey, I've been constantly playing with my beard again and I've now got an aching face. So I'm contemplating getting rid of it altogether. But then I had this thought, how will anybody know that I'm a rover man if I haven't got a beard? I was going to talk about the Felwell Viaduct and it being the most interesting bridge that you don't even realise that you're on. And then I noticed that I'd already gone over it. One of the things I really enjoy about driving at night time is all the smells in the air. They just seem to be much more potent somehow. I thought I could smell TCP then. It's not a smell that I like, but it was interesting enough. Thanks to that completely unexpected diversion, that's an extra 10 miles on the journey, making it 260 miles as I come off the motorway. And I must say that I've arrived feeling fresh and happy. Good car. Besides the pain in my back and neck, I am perfectly pain free.